Hi everyone, welcome to the Three Things Thursday for July 29. We just finished a four-week sermon series on the fourfold gospel with four different guest speakers. And so if you missed that, it's in our online church archive. Please go there. It's about the distinctives of our family of churches, our denomination. And so we're not doing this because we think we're better than any other denomination or that we're being ex exclusive at all. It's just this is who we are and it's good to understand our identity sometimes. So take a look at that. On Sunday, Pastor Jordy will be speaking, and he'll be speaking from 1 John chapter 3, verse 1, that says this, See what great love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called children of God. And that is what we are. It's not very often you get two exclamation points in one verse, so the translators thought this was pretty important. 1 John chapter 3, verse 1, I hope you can tune in for that. You know, we've talked a lot about church, online church, hybrid church, and, and what we might look like in the fall. And so I want to remind you of, uh, of the definition of church. And I shared this many months ago, but we're, I'm going to reshare it again. And so in just a minute, I'm going to I'll bring in this video, but I've added graphics this time. So it's going to be even more exciting. And it's just about a minute long. It goes through different ways of how we use the word church and maybe what a better biblical understanding of the word church is. So take a look at this and then uh, we'll see you in person pretty soon, I think. Thanks for watching. We are the church. Now, when we use that word church, it comes with many different meanings. Perhaps one of the meanings, meanings of church is in the sense of a building. For example, oh, did you see that new church on such and such a street? Referring to the building. Or sometimes we use the word church to refer to an event. So we might say, oh, I missed you on Sunday. I didn't see you last week. We're referring to church as an event in that case. Or sometimes we refer to church as an institution. So perhaps it would be, you know, um, you know how much money did you give to the church uh, last year? Um, so there, we could use church to mean the building. We could use church to mean an event that happens weekly. It could be used to mean an institution. Or finally, it could also mean uh, community. And so we refer, refer to the people, the men and women and children who, are, who have been brought together into that community. And so... Um, the, the church helped us in our marriage last year. That's referring to the community. So which one of these definitions is correct? Hey, I just want to jump in again and make a couple comments. Thank you for watching right to the end. I'm almost done. When we talk about church in those four different uh, ways, church is the building. Obviously, that is never in the Bible. It's never in the New Testament. They never had buildings. The building is simply the place where the church gathers. So I'd like for you to start using the word church uh, not that way. So don't say, oh, look, there is the, there's Cornerstone Alliance Church as you drive past. That is not the case. That is simply the building where the church meets. It's the building the church uses. And secondly, church as an event, again, you will not find that in the Bible anywhere. Nowhere in the Bible does it say, let's go to church. Events happen in the community, but it's not what church is. Now, a church as an institution or maybe as an organization, we do see some of that in the New Testament, especially as the church is developing, but that's not really what church is at the core. Obviously, the church is a people. We don't need a building. We don't need events. We don't need all of these things in order to have a church. But it is more than simply just the people gathered. And so that's what I want to talk to you about in August. So please stay tuned for that. I want to teach you very... Um, richly about what church is, why we do it, and then how we do it, because you're going to see some of that reflected in the fall when we're gathering together in person. Hey, thanks for watching. I know it's a longer video, but uh, we'll see you in person real soon.